Have you ever wondered how the first humans emerged and what kind of world they inhabited? Let's turn the clock back about two and a half million years, to a time when our ancestors first stepped onto the grand stage of life. It's the Pleistocene Epoch, a period known for its repeated glaciations. This epoch, spanning from roughly 2.5 million to 11,000 years ago, was a time of intense climatic fluctuations. Ice sheets expanded and contracted, creating a world of contrast from verdant grasslands to icy tundras. In this harsh and unpredictable world, a new player emerges, the Homo genus, the first of our kind. These early humans were a hardy breed, capable of enduring and adapting to the challenges of their environment, but they were more than mere survivors. They were innovators, using tools and developing strategies to thrive in their surroundings. The Pleistocene epoch was not just a time of harsh winters and biting cold. It was also a time of immense biodiversity. Mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, giant ground sloths and other impressive beasts roamed the landscapes making every day a battle for survival. Life in the Pleistocene was far from easy, but it was in this challenging environment that early humans honed their survival skills, developed their intellect, and laid the foundations for the civilizations to come. It was a crucible, a testing ground that forged the resilience, creativity, and ingenuity that define us as a species. This was the world of our ancestors, a world of ice and stone, of mammoth herds and towering glaciers, a world where survival was earned, not given, a world that saw the birth of humanity. But the story doesn't end there. The Pleistocene epoch was just the beginning. As the ice retreated and the world warmed, Early humans ventured out of Africa, spreading across the globe and shaping the world as we know it today. Thus the curtain rises on the stage of human history, amidst the icy landscapes of the Pleistocene epoch. So how did these early humans survive in such a harsh and fluctuating climate? Well it's a story of resilience, innovation, and survival. In the early days of humanity our ancestors faced a world that was often cold, unforgiving and filled with dangerous predators. Without the advantages we take for granted today, like warm clothing or secure shelters, their survival depended on their ability to adapt and innovate. One significant survival strategy was the development of tools. Imagine trying to survive in a world without a single piece of technology. It's a daunting thought, isn't it? Yet these early humans, using only what nature provided, began to shape stones, bones and wood into tools. They crafted sharp spears for hunting, hammers for construction, and scrapers for preparing hides. The creation of tools was a game-changer. It was a step towards mastering the environment rather than being at its mercy. Fire was another crucial element in their survival toolkit. The discovery of fire was nothing short of revolutionary. It provided warmth in cold climates, a way to cook food, making it easier to digest and safer to eat, and a deterrent against predators. At night the glow of a fire could keep a pack of wolves at bay. It was also a focal point for social interaction, a place to share stories, knowledge and foster relationships. Which brings us to the importance of social structures. Early humans were not solitary creatures, they lived in groups, forming complex social structures. These groups provided protection against predators, helped in hunting, and allowed for the sharing of resources. The social structure also facilitated the transmission of knowledge and skills from one generation to the next, allowing for progressive development. So, survival wasn't simply a matter of individual strength or speed, it was about working together, sharing knowledge, and creating tools and technologies to overcome the challenges of a harsh and unpredictable world. Through ingenuity and cooperation, early humans began to master their environment. But these early humans were not content to stay put, they were explorers at heart. Their feet were itching to traverse the vast expanse of the world that lay before them, their migration out of Africa marked the beginning of a journey that would see them colonizing different environments across the globe. Imagine the audacity, the sheer determination it took for these early humans to leave their familiar surroundings behind. Africa, their cradle of life, was left behind as they ventured into the unknown, driven by their curiosity and their survival instincts. The journey was arduous and fraught with danger. They traversed scorching deserts, crossed mighty rivers, climbed over towering mountains, and braved the freezing cold of the Ice Ages. But they pressed on, their spirit unbowed, their resolve unbroken. With each step they took, they were shaping the course of human history. Their journey took them to the Middle East, then to Asia, Europe, and finally, after crossing the icy land bridge of Beringia, they reached the Americas. But the story doesn't end there. No, they didn't just survive in these new environments, they thrived. 
they adapted to the different climates, learned to exploit the resources at their disposal, and honed their skills to survive against all odds. In the hot and arid regions of the Middle East, they learned to conserve water. In the harsh winters of Europe, they mastered the art of making fire and clothing for warmth. In the lush forests of Asia, they became adept at hunting and gathering. And in the Americas, they learned to navigate vast rivers and build shelters against the elements. This great migration was not just a physical journey, but a testament to the indomitable spirit of early humans. Their relentless pursuit of the unknown, their resilience in the face of adversity, and their ability to adapt and evolve have laid the foundation for the diverse and complex world we live in today. From the savannas of Africa to the far corners of the earth, these early humans spread and adapted. And in doing so, they set the stage for the myriad cultures, societies, and civilizations that would follow in their footsteps. As they spread and adapted, these early humans also began to create something new, culture. Culture was not born in a day. It was the fruit of thousands of years of human interaction, adaptation, and innovation. It was the response of our ancestors to their surroundings, their experiences, and their ever-evolving needs. Now, imagine, if you will, the earliest forms of art. They were not grand canvases or intricate sculptures, but simple lines and shapes etched on the walls of caves. These rudimentary drawings were more than decorative elements. They were an expression of human thought, a narrative of their lives. They depicted hunting scenes, animal figures, and even celestial bodies, suggesting a keen awareness of their environment. But art was only one aspect of early culture. Religion too emerged as a significant facet of human society. These early belief systems were deeply rooted in nature and the elements, reflecting the strong bond between early humans and their environment. They worshipped the sun, the moon, the wind and the rain, seeking their blessings for survival and prosperity. Language though was perhaps the most transformative aspect of early human culture. It started with simple gestures and sounds, evolving gradually into more complex systems of communication. Language allowed early humans to share ideas, pass on knowledge and form social bonds. It was a tool for survival, a means to strategize, to warn, to instruct, and to share. In essence, the birth of culture was the birth of human identity. It was through their art, their beliefs, and their language that early humans began to understand themselves and their place in the world. They began to form communities, to cooperate, and to build the foundations of society. Culture was, and remains, a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. It was born out of necessity, out of the struggle for survival, but it became so much more. It became a way for humans to connect, to express, and to aspire. Thus, amidst the struggle for survival, the seeds of civilization were sown. And then, around 10,000 years ago, a revolution occurred that would change the course of human history. This monumental shift was the dawn of agriculture, a turning point that redefined our relationship with the world around us. Before this era, humans were primarily nomadic, hunting and gathering food as they moved with the seasons. But with the advent of agriculture, our ancestors began to master the art of cultivation. They learned to plant seeds, nurture them, and reap the rewards of their labor. This was not a quick or easy process, it was a slow evolution, marked by countless trials and errors. But over time our ancestors developed the knowledge and skills needed to reliably produce food. The impact of agriculture was profound, it led to the rise of permanent settlements as people no longer needed to constantly move in search of food. Villages, towns, and eventually cities sprouted up, marking the beginning of a settled life. These settlements weren't just homes, they were hubs of human interaction, places where ideas could be exchanged and cultures could flourish. With a more stable food supply, populations began to grow. This growth led to increased social complexity. Roles became specialized with some people focusing on farming while others turned to crafting, trading, or governing. This specialization allowed for the development of new technologies and the establishment of social hierarchies, setting the groundwork for the complex societies we see today. But it wasn't all roses. The shift to agriculture also brought challenges. Settled life meant less diversity in diet, leading to potential nutritional deficiencies. The increase in population density led to new diseases and the establishment of property and wealth led to social inequalities. Yet despite these challenges, the transition to agriculture was a critical step in our journey as a species. It laid the foundation for everything that was to come, from the rise of empires to the development of writing, from the dawn of science to the complexities of modern life. With the dawn of agriculture the stage was set for the rise of civilizations. 
From these early settlements sprang the first civilizations, magnificent and complex societies that would shape the course of human history. As we gaze back into the annals of time we find ourselves in Mesopotamia, the land between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Here the Sumerians built a civilization with systems of writing, law and trade. Their cuneiform script on clay tablets remains as one of the earliest forms of written communication. Moving west, we find the grandeur of ancient Egypt, a civilization nurtured by the Nile. The Egyptians were pioneers in various fields, including architecture, mathematics and medicine. Their pyramids, standing tall against the test of time, are a testament to their remarkable engineering capabilities. Our journey then takes us to the fertile lands of the Indus Valley in India. The people here developed a civilization with impressive urban planning and sanitation systems. Their undeciphered script and the mystery of their sudden disappearance add an intriguing layer to the narrative of human history. Finally we land in ancient China, a civilization cradled by the Yellow River. The Chinese made significant contributions to human knowledge, with inventions like paper, gunpowder, and the compass. They also developed an intricate system of writing that continues to be used today. These civilizations, though separated by vast distances and diverse environments, shared some common traits. They all developed systems of writing, complex social structures and sophisticated technologies. They also engaged in trade, warfare and cultural exchange, weaving a complex tapestry of human interaction and development. Their contributions laid the foundation for future generations, shaping the world as we know it today. They were the crucibles in which science, art, literature and philosophy were born and nurtured, leaving a lasting legacy for humanity. Thus, from the first humans to the first civilizations, we have traced the remarkable journey of our species. So what have we learned from this journey? We've traversed through epics, from the uncharted times when the first humans made their debut on Earth's grand stage. These ancestors of ours, they had a tough road, but they carved out a place for themselves in a world which was harsh, unpredictable and teeming with challenges. They learned to adapt, to survive. They developed strategies, tools and skills that allowed them to brave the hostile climate and make the most of their environment. Their resilience was tested, their ingenuity was sparked and their spirit unbroken. Then came the Great Migration out of Africa, an epic journey that marked the beginning of our global footprint. Our ancestors ventured into unknown territories crossing mountains, rivers and seas. They seeded the world with their presence, and with them, they brought the spark of humanity. As they settled in different corners of the world, culture was born. Diverse, dynamic and vibrant it was a reflection of their journey, their experiences, their wisdom. It was an expression of their thoughts, their dreams, their fears. It was a testament to their ability to learn, to grow, to evolve. Then the dawn of agriculture marked a significant shift in our story. It was a revolution that transformed our ancestors from nomadic hunter-gatherers to settled farmers. It was a change that brought about stability, growth, and the foundation of a structured society. And from these societies, civilizations rose. Complex and sophisticated, they were the result of thousands of years of learning, adapting, and innovating. They were the epitome of human progress, a beacon of our potential. From the dawn of man to the rise of civilizations, the story of our species is a testament to the resilience, ingenuity, and creativity of the human spirit. This journey, our journey, is a testament to what we, as a species, are capable of. It's a story of survival, of adaptation, of progress. It's a story of us.